Hello, welcome back to Steve's Retirement Corner. Breaking the golden handcuffs. That's a tough thing to do, Doc. I ain't gonna lie to you. When things are on you, man, you don't want to leave them. But I tell you another thing, too, is that uh, I don't care what anybody says. It was worth any price I had to pay to get them, get them put on me in the first place. Because they're paying off big time for me right now. I ain't gonna lie to you. But the golden handcuffs come up the other night in that, that live, that subject did. Uh, and I went off on a personal mental problem I have with retirement instead of uh, addressing it like I should have. And I felt bad ever since. Tried to make a video yesterday, but this one was still on my mind, so I, I, I couldn't come off anything. And uh, me ranting about my personal problems don't help a darn, darn thing. Makes me feel a little better. But uh, there, there was a comment come across there, something like uh, to the effect of, uh, I'm 62. I can retire. But if I wait four years, my pension will double. You know, me first right off, I'm thinking take the money. Go ahead and stay to four years. And, I mean, doubling your money in four years that's like 18 percent a year i mean that's just that's just unreal you know but you know that's when it comes into the personal and middle part of retirement you know whether you really go or not i mean is it worth it to you you know four years don't sound like a lot especially when you're going to double your money like that if you're in a situation that's just unbearable to you, it makes you want to go. I mean, them, them four years can seem like an eternity. Oh, uh, heck, I forget now. I can't remember the name that said that on there the other night. But I appreciate that, Doug. That was a good, uh, that was a good comment too about it, because it does. I mean, in them four years, I mean, they can seem like 20 years, if you, you know, if you hate the place. But then I got to thinking, hey, man, you know, I might would go for it anyways. Because if I, you know, if I get to the point where I can't stand it no longer in one year, you know, I done made almost 20% on my, my pension. I mean, that, that'd be hard to turn down too, I guess. When I got the prospect of 100%, I mean, man. I ran into the same kind of trouble. It wasn't nowhere near like that. It was only like 25 or 30 percent difference. About to stay three more years. So, uh, but I, the way I figured it up, I wouldn't have to worry about pulling that extra uh, few hundred dollars out my 401. I could do that with no problem. So, that's the way I did it. I went ahead and it wasn't worth it for me to stay in there for that extra few hundred dollars when I had a way to get it. But for doubling my money, I don't know there's a way you could do that. And, you know, retirement is, you know, I say it all the time, retirement is extremely personal. I had a couple on here that uh, retired last year. I think one in March and one in uh, November or something like that. They were a couple months apart. And they said that uh, they retired it was the right thing for them to do at the time. And that's what it's all about. Whether you go at 60, whether you go at 80, whether you go at 50, you know, if it's the right time for you, if it's the right thing to do for you, don't, you know, don't go out there at 65 if you don't want to, or you're not ready, or you can't afford to, if that's what they say, hey man, 65, you know, that's, that's retirement, or 67 or whatever, you know. No, don't do it. If it's not right for you, it's, it's not going to be right. Right, and going to be miserable. If you think about it, Dag, on it, retirement is a. Uh, it's probably the worst financial decision you'll ever make. I and mean, if you want to guarantee you'll never run out of money, stay working. As long as you keep a job, you'll have money coming in. 
but that that daggone golden handcuffs, man, well, that's why they call them that. You know, the closer you get and you're ready, maybe you want to go. But hey, man, if I stay another four years, I double my retirement. It's terrible. It just is. That's a tough situation to be in. I'd have to grab a glass of tea and the baby and come out here and sit one morning, listen to the birds and talk for 30 minutes or an hour. About every week for a couple of months, well, I'd figure that one out. You know, the big thing is to take your time. You're in no rush to do it. You know, you'll decide if you sit down and think about it and realistically think about it. You know, is it worth it to you? Is it worth it to your family for you to go now or to take that money? And stay in there. That's all. It's a tough decision. I have no doubt if you sit there for a minute, discuss it with your spouse. Or maybe had a glass of thinking tea. You will, you'll come to the good, uh, the best decision for you at the time. I, I, I do believe that. Most people do. Most time we just need a kick in the pants to, to realize that. And then um, about that live the other night, I sure do appreciate everybody that showed up. I really do. You ain't going to believe this, but I'm just as invested in your retirement as I can be. Being an outsider, not even knowing. <laughs> I really am. I enjoy to see people going. I enjoy seeing them how they are in retirement. And I look forward to ringing the bell. Look forward to hearing, hearing little stories from y'all about your uh, retirement. You know, you're going on a trip or whatever. It just makes me feel good. But I appreciate it. And those of y'all that didn't show up, don't worry about it, Doc. Ain't that big a daggone deal. Some, I, I mean, everybody's got stuff to do. Somebody had a, a cookout and fireworks for 4th of July. That guy wouldn't have showed up for that. <laughs> I'd have been eating my hot dog and watching the fireworks. But maybe I'll do another one here in a couple of months. I don't do many, but I enjoy them. We don't do nothing on them. But it's just good to, to talk with people kind of one-on-one like. So, well, y'all take care, and we'll talk to y'all later.